Hi there, this is James Swanick, and you're listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast, where you learn how to take back control over alcohol and live a life of health, wealth, love, and happiness. Hi, my name is Amy McFadden, and I am 92 days alcohol free. Congratulations, Amy. That's amazing. What was your drinking like before you started to go alcohol free and how do you feel now? Oh, it was steady. You know, it was just like two, three glasses of wine a night and um, it just was sort of my daily routine, part of my life. And now, uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm more me. I'm awake. I'm up earlier. Uh, I just love I love every day now. Um, yeah, so just more energy and rested and feel good. And don't really, I don't miss it at all. Amazing. Yeah. You, you enrolled in our 90-day quit drinking life transformation program. Um, what called you to join us? Like what was going on in your life? at that time that inspired you to book a call, ultimately enroll and just go through our methodology for, for quitting drinking? It wasn't a big, it, it wasn't like a particular moment or anything. Honestly, I got one of your emails about, cause I had done the 30 day like two years ago and it, and it was in October and you just said, picture this, you wake up on new year's day, you're refreshed. Uh, You drink water and coffee and you feel really good. And I just, I was on the cusp. Well, I am, I'm turning 50 in April. So I knew that was like ahead of me. And I was doing another kind of workshop on uh, self being. So the timing, the timing was really good. And I just thought there's, there's no better time than now. And, um, your emails were motivating to me and I was just like, just do it. And then I just put one foot in front of the other. Well, as we're speaking now, it's uh, almost New Year's morning. It's a couple of days before as we're recording this. And so how, do you, how did you feel this morning when you woke up? Let's pretend that it's New Year's Day. Let's pretend that actually we've gone back three months and you read my email about picture this, it's New Year's Day and you're feeling like, it's exactly like it. I mean, this morning, okay, it's Sunday. I woke up at 5.30 in the morning, did some reading, had a glass of water, then had a really good cup of coffee and wrote everything I'm grateful for. Then I went to yoga. Then I had coffee with friends, um, kind of lined up my week for work. And... Um, just relaxed and content and yeah. Does that make, is that a good answer? <laughs> Cause it's I'm really, gonna, it's really pretty spectacular yeah. to me. I kind of feel like it's the best time of year because I've already, I've just gone through all the holidays and now I have the new year. And so now I have the new year way ahead of me, like what's next. Cause now I have this platform of being alcohol free. So now I'm like, what, what am I going to add to my life that I can do now that I have, you know, all this mental clarity and, and, um, energy and. Calm. Yeah. And what was, let's go back to the doom and gloom for a second or when things maybe we weren't doom and gloom, but maybe when things weren't as, as great as they are now. So what was the effect that the drinking was having on your life that you, that you recognized? Um, it's funny cause my friends and close family members didn't pick it up at all. They said, I wouldn't have noticed that you were struggling. And by struggling, I mean the doom and gloom was like this internal mental game, mental negativity that I would wake up with every morning and just feeling sluggish and residing to just not drink that night. And I, Overall, I'm generally a healthy person. I eat clean food. I work out. I have a successful business life. So it was just something under the, it was just internal. 
that was dragging me. And also just, it took a while for me to bounce back from, from alcohol. So it would take, depending, it would, it would take part of the weekend to recover, so to speak. And I just, or I would just kind of get through and just not really feel great. And I was sad. I wasn't, I was sad for no reason, you know? So. Yeah. Well, alcohol is a depressant. It gives us this temporary illusionary feeling of pleasure in the moment when we drink it and it is temporary and it is illusionary as well. Um, And Afterwards, it makes us depressed because it fills our bodies with toxins. It drains us. Our body's now working hard to try and break down the poison that we've put into our body. And uh, all of the studies show that it is a depressant. So that makes sense. If you were feeling sad and depressed at times, it makes sense that if you were drinking, you know, what you were drinking. Right. What have your friends said to you since you've quit drinking? What have people noticed? You know, it's crazy because I just bumped into an old flame and I had no makeup on. I I was, I had come from yoga and I felt great. And I just, you know, and he was just like, oh my God, you look gorgeous. Like, and it was just this overall look. And I said, AF, AF baby. That's what I said to him. He's like, I know I got to quit. Um, but my my personal friends and family just they they're really happy for me. They they I feel that I'm more present with them. They turn to me more now. I don't mind that they're drinking. I still go out. I do. You said this in one of your videos. You can do everything you do. You just don't drink alcohol. Like so, my life really hasn't. Ch- I mean, it's been added, but I still go out with my friends and I still have special moments, um, all that. Uh, but they definitely have seen the benefit. They, they've seen that, you know, I look good. I feel good. Um, so they're, they're happy and and they know that I, it's something that I've wanted to do for a while. So. Yeah. And what was your experience like inside of our, program what was the support that you got what was the um accountability about maybe the community just t- share was, a little bit about your experience about why you think yeah. you were successful as a result of going through through my particular this, program this was huge for me because i'm a very independent person do things on my own i would read the manual and then do it without anybody and this community the program uh, uh, let's see the, the group calls, uh, with everybody was awesome. I looked forward to those calls every week. Um, hearing everybody else's share their wins or their ups and downs. You just want to pump people up. There's no judgment. There's no, everybody's just so supportive. The Marco Polo, like you guys like made us do it and it really, it was a really cool, it's a really cool community. I love watching and catching up with everybody. Uh, So that helped me because now I have community. And when I did the 30 day, I kind of, I didn't know what to do after that. Like now what, or I just got bored. Now I have this network. And like you just said, you wanted to introduce me to somebody that's also alcohol free. It's, It's like a movement or something. You know, I want to know when your wellness weekend is. Um, So I feel it was just hugely helpful. Uh, And the coach, the the weekly coaching, uh, you just knew people were in your court. Um, And you're, I don't even know if it's like accountable, but it's just a, it's just a group. You're not doing it all yourself. And that, that was different for me this this go around to me is a, I want it to be a lifestyle for me. So I, I needed to figure out a way how to like integrate it into my life and bring this into the current relationships and friendships and family, everything I have. So the group helped me be me in this new, you know, kind of new way 
that makes sense. Yeah. Do you have to explain to people what AF means or do people start to know what AF means now? All right. Uh, well, he, like my, my friend knew what that meant. Cause I told him. So, um, yeah, sometimes I, I use, I used to say the term alcohol free and AF amongst my family and friends. Cause that's, you know, short term for it, shorthand for it. Yeah. Great. And, yeah. uh, what would you say to someone who's feeling apprehensive and doesn't feel like they might be able to do this or they're scared what their friends or colleagues or boss or people might think if they go alcohol free? I know. Uh, I'd say just do it. Don't you, there is no time to be ready. Um, the hardest thing is getting to that phone call with you to, cause you're really going to do it then, you know, or, um, and you'll get help along the way, like that one step and then everything will fall. If you, if you remotely, inc- you know, want to do it, you don't need to know all the answers or figure it all out or how it's going to be. You just need to like take that one action and then everything will line up. Yeah. I, I do. It's interesting. Cause I feel like if people are going to do, I guess you just have to be ready because you really feel so good. I can't see why you'd go back to drinking. So that's the, that is a real thing. Like, how do you, you know, you know, what's good. I know what feels good now. Um, but again, that community and, and the whole group now has, has shifted everything for me. So it wasn't just a break for me. Um, if that makes sense. So the plan now with drinking or not drinking and your life in general is, is what? Um, it's alcohol free. Um, I, m- my plan now is, you know, to remain alcohol free. I want to, you know, if I'm, if I'm thinking of a goal, I would say the 365 day, you know, I will continue the next 90 days and, you know, go the year. Um, but for me, it's really just integrated in, in me. So I, um, yeah, so now I'm kind of looking for, well, you know, I have some, some goals that I want to accomplish. So I'll be working on those this year. Um, because now I have that, you know, the, the foundation, not only of being alcohol free. So I have like, clarity and focus and drive, but I also have the tools of how to commit to things, how to write things down, how to make certain things priorities. And so there's like these formulas to achieve more of what I want to achieve. Um, Got it. Well, you and I will have a conversation now about helping you achieve those goals that you've set for next year and integrating the alcohol-free life. But for now, I just wanted to say congratulations again, amazing achievement. Thank you for playing full out in the group, and you're always a very positive member. Uh, and if you're watching this now, Marco Polo, is, it's a video messaging app that we use to, where the, the other members in our group can send little video messages to each other on a daily basis, and it's a great form of daily accountability. It's a great way to check in, support other people, uh, get to know other people. Um, and you were always very active in there and very positive and encouraging and supportive of other, other people and also very vulnerable sharing your own experience. So mm-hmm. uh, I wanted to sh- uh, so thank you and acknowledge you for that very much, Amy. You're welcome. My yeah. pleasure. <laughs> You're so welcome. And congratulations again, Amy McFadden, 49 from Boston. 90-something days alcohol-free today. Long may it continue. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast. I want to load you up with some free stuff right now. So if you want to go to jameswanick.com slash guide, I will send you my Quit Alcohol Guide, which has helped six-figure entrepreneurs and top professionals reduce or quit drinking. You can also text the word Quit Guide to the number 44222 if you're in the US, of course. It doesn't really work anywhere outside of the US. But if you're in the US on your mobile phone and you'd like that guide, text the word Quit Guide to the number 44222 or you can go to jameswanick.com slash guide. 
If you'd like to schedule a free 15-minute call with one of my top coaches, just an exploratory call to see if or how we can help you, then you can go to jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word project90 to the number 44222 if you're listening in the US on a mobile phone. That's jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word project90, that's one word, project90, to the number 44222. Feel free to send me a direct message over on my Instagram account, which is at James Swanick. You can also watch video episodes of this podcast and a series of other educational videos on my YouTube channel, which is James Swanick One, or you can direct message me on Facebook at James Swanick Official. And finally, a request. Would you please now write a short review of the podcast inside of the Apple Podcast app on your phone or on iTunes on your desktop? Would you please give the show five stars and write a quick one or two sentence review? This will help the show get in front of even more listeners, potentially transforming someone's life. You can rate and review the show inside of your Apple podcast app on your phone or over on iTunes on your desktop. Thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.